What is up, Fit Gamers? Joey B slash three here, and we're here with the first ever live stream fight scene breakdown. And we are going to be watching The Punisher season two, episode one fight scene. So if you guys have not seen it yet, spoiler alert, there's some things that go on in this fight scene. It doesn't really tell too much of the story, but just spoiler alert if you haven't seen it yet, I highly suggest you go watch the movie. Thank you all so much for being here. This is so cool. I got the chat working. Um, any and all super chats are much appreciated. It's a great way to help the channel out. And you'll also see this really cool um, animated image above me if any of you guys super chat. So if you do, thank you so much. Um, we're going to try to keep a nice little outline here that I made for this. Uh, Waveman in awe, Chris Mendoza, Jonathan Kip, all you guys. Thank you so much for being here. It's awesome that you're here. So hopefully you can hear me okay. Let me know in the chat where you guys are from. Let me know if you can hear me okay. And uh, yeah, we're just going to probably get started here real soon. I'm just going to let some more people jump in maybe. Jason Hibbert. Yeah, let's go, bro. So there's going to be a little lag between you guys chatting and it's showing up here probably. But that's okay. I will try and pay attention to it as much as I can as we go through the breakdown but i don't want to sit here too long and uh, really you know just i want to get to this breakdown it's a really cool fight scene if you guys have not seen it already we're actually going to watch it here right now so actually let's go into the fight scene and just view it here together with you guys i've seen it a lot so i kind of know everything that happens but if you haven't seen it again spoiler alert let's get right into it Oh, yeah. It gets serious right away. We got knives coming out and belts coming off. Dumbass. Luke's, thank you. I've worked hard on this. Sorry. Hopefully it looks good. <laughs> Mexico, what's up? New York. So with this fight scene, I actually upped the exposure and uh, a bit so you can actually see what's going on. Because it's very dark. Uh initially if you don't do anything to the picture so as you can see it's three on one against the punisher here frank castle and uh he's taking them out one by one it's pretty insane that he goes against three people with knives here yeah i'm kind of pissed that they canceled this too it was a really good show i was enjoying it quite a bit so we're going to talk about the choreography, talk about a few things here, and hopefully you guys, you know, just, again, in the live chat, let me know what you think of the setup. Let me know what you think of the fight scene. If you want me to do more like this, just let me know, and we can get a lot more of these out to you probably in a quicker amount of time um, because it's just me trying to uh, do the live stream and editing, sometimes trying to meet up with Chris um, is difficult because of our schedules. But he's always a big help, and he's always down to do this. So hopefully he can join us for one of these live streams as well. Yeah, this stunt team did go hard, bro. They did a good job. And I think John Bernthal um, did most of it, if not all. I couldn't really tell if there was a stuntman. So that was it. Um, pretty quick. They get right into it, as Best Man Gamer said. So... Um, Next portion here, just a few things to note right off the bat. It's fairly simple movements. They don't do a lot of fancy, you know, choreography, not any spinning kicks or, or crazy throws or things like that. It's not really like Hong Kong uh, Kung Fu movies, but it's a great way to just show these simple movements and how it's, it's quite realistic in a lot of ways. Uh, there's multiple opponents. So three against three against one you have the punisher who's empty-handed um he takes off his belt for a little protection wraps it around his arm great idea uh in terms of self-defense against knives because that's pretty much all you got it might even be better if he took off his shirt to do that as well with the belt um if that's what he's going to use it for as a shield but uh yeah so then you have three against one and they all have knives short knives so think about that for a minute. 
use of environment. You've seen a lot of uh, the use of environment in that fight scene. They, they're smashing up against the doors. They're breaking things. It was a great use of props if they built a set for it or if they shot on location and then put some props in there to break. Great use of that stuff. I really like that. It was very creative. So let's move on. Pre-fight setup. Again, they both, they all draw their knives. Um, there's one guy there. There's the girl with the uh, jean jacket right there. And then there's a girl, a blonde, in the back holding hostage uh, character in the show with her knife. You see right there. So, yeah. Now, we will go into the full-on breakdown here. So what I want to show you guys real quick, okay, step by step, frame by frame. This is basically kind of a behind the scenes of how I look at these fight scenes. I even go slower than this sometimes, but here we go. So the first uh, attacker here is the girl in the blue. And she comes with, left-handed actually, she comes with a straight line thrust, okay? So that's a very difficult thrust to deal with a knife. Um, it's very hard to get out of the way of it. Now. Uh, the Punisher, he's wrapped his arm there with the belt. So he's got a little protection from slashes, but not really thrusts. But if it's a, if it's a, gr a grazing blow, you know, it might, it might not hurt him as much. So what he does is he actually brings this up and swipes it across to actually parry a little bit of that blade out of the way. And then he's going to grab with his other hand here, as you'll see, right there. So it happens off frame. But he's basically just parrying the knife out of the way, and then he's about to grab it. Now you'll see on the uh, right over there, you'll see uh, another arrow show up. So right there. Now the guy behind him, he's in between these uh, bad guys, which is not a good position to be in. So he's going to try to stack him, which is a great tactic here. So here we go. This guy is coming down with a slash down to his neck and again he's using this as he's turning to block that that was very difficult to see with this close-up shot i hope you guys appreciate the frame by frame here but here we go bang and then he circles her around now he's still got a hold of her wrist and she's in the forward grip so watch now he places his hand right there in the joint of her arm and now he's using that as a fulcrum to push that knife back into her face and he's also giving pressure now now that he's stacked his opponents he's giving pressure so now the other guy can't really do anything or swing or try to attack he has to try to get around but with the pressure he's being pushed back so he gets pushed back boom 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 and then you'll see next coming up you had it right it is the Push kick. Where is it? Oh no. There it is. Finally showed up. So right there, push kick. And then he parries again the knife and an incoming thrust again, kind of on a, a linear line. It's not elliptical coming around in a, in a hooking motion. So again, let's see that one more time. Quick push kick right. And he knocks her right into him. She goes down to the ground. He goes into the wall, and then here you see the Punisher again use his arm, his shielded arm there to parry this knife out of the way. Not the best idea, and the way he does it here is really wide, and I think that's pretty much for the camera. You want to see uh, these movements, and sometimes when knife fighting, it's very small movements. So he goes wide, parries it out of the way, and sidesteps a little bit. And then the next portion here... Uh, the Punisher actually takes a strike to the face. The bad guy uses his empty hand and BAM! Smacks him right across the face. And then from there, he goes for another high line thrust. The Punisher ducks this. And this is where the, uh, the knife gets stuck into the door right there. So the next part. Uh, the Punisher comes up with an upward elbow here. And he's basically knocking that grip off of the knife. Then you'll see right here. He uses his knee right there, and he blocks that incoming strike. And he reverse elbows. Bam! Looks like he hits her almost in the chest. Let's look at that again. So he hits that, knocks the grip off. Boom. 
blocks it. It looks like he kind of hits her in the chest, but she reacts as if he, she got hit in the face. So I'm going to say she got hit in the face right there at that reverse elbow. And then he gives a low sidekick right there to the knee. And then a reverse elbow, bam, straight to the head there. Now, she goes for a wide, very wide slash there. Again, still in the forward grip with the knife. Very wide slash. He ducks under. Yeah, this gets pretty vicious, bro. And then he basically just rock bottoms her straight to the ground. Um, let me know if any of uh, you judo guys out there know what that throw is called. Um, it's a rock bottom where I'm from, but... Basically, uh, it's a basic judo throw. I forget what it's called. But bam to the knee, reverse elbow. He ducks under. And then he slams her to the ground. Nice. Alright, so next part. The bad guy just pretty much gets his knife from the door and goes for a direct thrust in the reverse grip. And Punisher rolls out of the way really quick. He gets up. And now right here, the bad guy goes for another slash. It looks like he misses, but there's a sound effect within the fight scene. We'll watch this again in real time later, and there's a sound effect. So I don't know, maybe they just didn't do the angle right with the camera, or uh, the choreography was a little off. But there it was. He blocks, and then he gives a back fist. Right here, either a back fist hitting with the uh, with the knuckles or a hammer fist hitting with the bottom of the hand there. He smacks him right across the head. And then he goes with a big hook to pretty much, it looks like he knocks this guy out, but you saw earlier that uh, he does get back up. So right here, bam, he knocks him to the ground. The guy looks like he goes limp and then just falls to the ground. There we go. So now you got that upward thrust, right? Straight on center line, straight upward thrust. And Punisher is using his forearm to stop that thrust from coming through. And then he's actually using his hand there to grab the wrist for control. And then he brings the wrist to his hip right there, brings her closer to get more control and stabilizes the shoulder even for a little more control over that limb. Rams are up against the wall there. And this here is what I would call a missed opportunity in terms of real life self-defense. This is a lethal situation. You have people attacking you with knives and you have to defend yourself. So right here, he, he, he smashes her head kind of up against the wall. Doesn't really do any damage. Uh, and just pushes her up against the wall. This would be the perfect situation where you would just take your fingers and roll them right into those eye sockets and just take their vision out completely. So um, that's kind of a missed opportunity in terms of real life self-defense. Obviously, this is made for entertainment and it's just fun. So, you know, this is just a way for them to make it a little more uh, nasty of a fight scene. So then he takes her and throws her right into the stall door and breaks everything. That was a great use of a prop right there. Breakable prop. Good stunt work by these people. Now you have the blonde. She gets rid of her hostage here. And you think that uh, those two other uh, bad guys are down, right? She gives her meanest face and grunt and just attacks right away. She's in the reverse grip. Oh, my bad. She's in the reverse grip. So she comes down with a thrust. On the diagonal. She comes across with the slash. He's just dodging these left and right. And then we got a block up top again for another downward diagonal uh, thrust. So he blocks that and basically does, I believe, what's called a suinage uh, in judo. It's another basic judo throw. But he uses the, her forearm and her sleeve there, as you see. Uh, right under her, her armpit there, he uses her shoulder as leverage and her forward momentum is broken. So he's going to throw her right over his shoulder, right into the wall. Bam. These transitions aren't working too well. Might have to change that. So here, 
She bounces off the wall. Another good stunt work. I can't tell if it was the actual actress, but it, I think they these are stunt people. They don't change them out. Um, they're stunt performers. So now here, the Punisher basically ducks under uh, maybe a strike or something, picks this guy up. Oh, my bad. It's going crazy. Here we go. Picks him up, rams him up into the uh, the mirror here, and uh, breaks the mirror. Now, this guy is not really doing much to counter what the Punisher is doing. Uh, I thought maybe the Punisher was biting him or something because he's just kind of raving about there. He's just like kind of grunting and it's like nothing's going on. So I don't know why he's in so much pain, but it doesn't look like he's trying to struggle too much. And maybe that's because he's trying to save the actor. You know, they have to do this over and over and over again until they get it right. So the next part, boom, Punisher takes a punch to the face. He gets kicked off here right into the stall. Now, here's a pretty interesting part. He gets pushed back into the stall. Boom. I like how he breaks the grip here. Bang. Right in the elbow joints. Okay. He comes down and breaks the grip. And then right here, what do you guys think this strike is? Do you think it's a punch or an elbow strike? I think it is an elbow strike because you don't really see him come across here with his fist. You kind of just see the elbow follow through quite a bit. So, I'm going to say it's an elbow strike to the face. Boom, right there. And then he slaps the ear. Nice. Nice move. Smashes him up against, and then he uses again his own momentum and smashes that sink. Great use of a prop and pretty cool blood effect right there as well. So again, what's up, Jamie? That's my good buddy, Jamie. Game Galaxy. Check out his channel if you can. Um... Now, this next part, she's now going to the right, the right hand instead of her left. And she's coming in with that, uh, that linear thrust again. So now, uh, Punisher is going to circle that around. He's going to parry that around, circle it around. Boom, right away. And now he gives her an overhand right. Great work by the stunt performer here. It looks like they make a little contact, so it looks pretty real. She blocks it, though. Comes over the top, boom. And now you see the other blonde in the background getting up, and she's coming in with an attack already. She's coming in with a downward slash now because she's in the forward grip as well. So he's going to dodge that, boom. And she's going to come in with a highline thrust elliptical this time. So it's almost like a hook. He uses both hands, blocks that, circles it around. Watch this. See her in the background? So watch her... She comes, tries to go with a low line, straight thrust. And he, again, uses stacking the opponents as a great way. He uses the blonde as a shield here. So watch. She tries to come in right there. She's trying to come in with a thrust. He uses her body, slams her up against the stall, and at the same time is blocking that thrust from coming through. You see right there, her arm is, was stuck. So it was a great piece of the choreography that's very difficult to see in real time so that's why we do these fight scene breakdowns every way step by step and just show you you know all these little details in the choreography that you miss when you watch it in real time it's still very enjoyable but we like to break it down step by step here at fit gamers all right so next he just wails her right in the face bam right in the nose this is a pretty cool part too so right here, he uses the door. Again, use of environment, great job with the choreography. I like the uh, slamming of the doors, the using of props. Right there, he punches here, right above the knee or maybe uh, right in the quadricep, that big thigh muscle to break her structure, bring her down to one knee, and he gives a nice, powerful hook, knocking her head up against the stall. Boom, there's a sound effect there too. Remember these sound effects because you'll see it when we do it in real time. So here she comes again with another slash, backhand slash. He's blocking. He comes over the top, strikes her in the face, smashes her up against the stall here for more control. And now he grabs by the wrist right here and then forces the knife straight into her lung right there. So she's pretty much done. It may take a little bit to actually uh, for her to pass on, but... She's like, yep, that's the face of somebody who's done. 
bam. And he actually sticks her up against the stall, Michael Myers style. That's the Punisher right there for you. And also right here too. <laughs> he just he just wails right into her face. Big wide hook. Whoop. Bow. <laughs> So that's almost like a mercy punch because she might be, uh, you know, drowning in her own blood. He just punctured the lung there with the knife, so it might take her a little bit to die. So that was kind of almost a mercy, a mercy hit there. He knocked her out, so she doesn't have to suffer, I guess. But that's the Punisher for you right there. So that's basically the fight scene breakdown, all step by step, frame by frame for you guys. Let me know what you guys think again of this format. Any super chats are greatly appreciated. Thank you guys so much for joining me here. So let's go right now and re-watch the fight scene with all of that new knowledge into play here. So let's re-watch it. Let's see what we got. So listen for those uh, extra sound effects uh, when you watch it this time. You're so far over your head you can't even see the light. <laughs> I also like how they didn't add music to this. Again, it adds to kind of the intensity of the fight scene, the uh, the personal nature of it, how close it is. You know, they're not trying to do anything fancy. Oh, I'll consider uh, tons of fight scenes for you guys doing it this way. This way, um, when there's multiple opponents, especially, like... Maybe even for the Batman versus Superman warehouse fight scene. I really want to do a reenactment for that one, so I'm going to need Chris's help. But um, even if we do a reenactment, I'm going to try to do more live streams so I can, you know, engage with you guys in the live chat and stuff like that. It's really fun to just, you know, talk with you guys as we're doing stuff, drilling, you know, training, exercising, playing games, what have you. So again, thank you guys so much for joining me. But the timing here is really good between the choreography. They really sell the hits. The fight, you know, the, the fight sound effects are fairly realistic, you know. They don't try to go over the top or things like that. A lot of the sound comes from, you know, what they recorded on set. So again, it adds to the, to the realism of that fight. Yeah, and there you have it. So let's do a little... Uh, concluding discussion here so some overall thoughts what do you guys think of this fight scene a few things i thought you know they're going for realism here they're not trying to be again too fancy they're not doing like martial arts tricking and all that kind of stuff um they're they're simple movements they're they're simple throws simple takedowns uh simple techniques but they work you know some of these actually are straight up legit and some of them obviously aren't you don't want to be in this situation ever in your life if you see a knife do your best to run um it fits into the story so again no spoiler alerts but um we're just gonna you know go with the he's saving that girl that's it super chat tapio woo, woo. thanks so much tapio that was uh, that, that super chat animation I was talking about. Thank you guys so much. Anytime you guys super chat, it's a big help to the channel. Um, thanks so much for Tapio. He's a big fan, and he tries to super chat anytime he can. But thank you so much, man. That's awesome. I was hoping to get a super chat on this on this first uh, fight scene breakdown live stream. But, uh, yeah, it fits into the story. So, again, great fight scene, great choreography. I liked how it was simple. I liked how they kept the camera pretty much you know they didn't use too much uh set trickery where they're removing walls and things like that i'm sure they did that but maybe they shot on location who knows i haven't seen any special features so i haven't seen any behind the scenes but it was a great way to film the fight scene in those close quarters and it was just it was really awesome so thank you guys so much for joining me here at this fight scene breakdown live stream we're going to be doing more of these what did you guys think of this format where you know we, we don't really do the reenactment here 
And me and Chris aren't really showing a uh, step-by-step uh, through movements. But what do you guys think of the frame-by-frame -frame detail? What do you think of, uh, you know, doing the live stream versus the regular video? For those of you who are going to watch this later on, hopefully you do, and you comment down below. Leave comments down below after the video. Let me know what you guys think. But uh, we are going to probably end this right here. And again, guys, thank you so much for joining me. And as always, game on, stay fit, and keep on training. We got a lot coming for you in 2021. We're going to make this channel what it was meant to be, gaming, fitness, and martial arts. I'm going to be going live a lot more. I've got my studio set up here, obviously, because look, it's live stream. We've got the green screen and everything behind me. This is awesome. Easy setups. I can get more content out for you guys. John, thank you so much for joining us, man. Mr. Kip, you the man. Luke's, thank you. Fernando. Joey B in the movie, yeah. Hopefully, maybe I'll get hired someday. See you guys later, best man. Take care, guys. We will see you in the next one. Slash crew for life. That's right, Jonathan Kip. I love that name, Slash crew. All right, we'll see you guys in the next one.